Hello, 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 crafters. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on this planet. Welcome back to Rebecca's Gift Box. Well, I'm Rebecca, and where we do some paper crafting. So, how is everyone? Today's Tuesday. I said I was going to be back today, and here I am. <sighs> Woke up this morning and um, I'm like, my head is like pounding. It's like someone is taking a hammer and is hitting my head. That's how much pain I am right now. The weather is like so on and off right now. It's just, and it's pouring down rain right now. So that's maybe another reason why I have such a bad headache. But I mean, I had a hard time moving around this morning. And um, I'm struggling right now. So, but I'm here. Because I promised I was going to make a video today. So, after I finish doing what I need to do with my videos and doing some things around the house. Because I have a week. Well, I should say like five or six days um, of an empty house. It's just me and my son. Uh, I'm able to rest for the next couple of days. My mom went with her nephew to her hometown in South Carolina to see her um, her remaining sisters. Um, and I just, I just, when I heard when he called me and told me he was going, I'm like, oh yeah. I jumped at, I'm like, I got to get her out of this house for a while. I got to get her out. So um, I needed a vacation from my mother. I know I shouldn't say that, but you know, sometimes you need those, you need those times for yourself. And especially if, when you're home taking care of your parent, okay? You just need a time a, a, away from your parent just to relax and regroup yourself and just be you. Um, but so I have these next couple of days to just relax, get myself together. I wanted to finish painting her room and put some new curtains up in there, um, some light, some new light things, switches and stuff. I wanted to do that before she got back. But with this weather going the way it is, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do all of it. I want to at least try to get the broom paint finished. I just have two walls left. Um, one big wall, and then the other wall is just has is the closet wall, which is a really not that much to paint, but I wanted to get that done. So we, I'm going to I'm going to focus on getting that room finished painted, and getting the curtains in the room. And I'll buy the light switches and stuff that I, that I need to go in there. But putting them up, I'll just wait. Um, because I still need to do the trim and stuff. But I just want to get the walls painted. Okay, so that is my update on life. <laughs> like, you wanted to hear that. But that's okay. Um, I like keeping in touch with my crafters, okay? So... Let's go ahead and open up the bag and let's get crafting. See where we left off at. I did some um, some crafting um, previously before here because I want to know what I'm going to be doing, what I want to do today. So, so I did some pre-preparing. Okay. So this is the back. Let's go to the front. So the front. Last time we. Um, on the video, we, I had put a vellum pocket up front, and I had put two memory cards up here. So we have this pink one, which I'm thinking about changing out. I'm just I'm just putting these cards up here just to have something in the pockets, and I'm putting this one in here. I'm not sure if I want to put that there, but I just needed to get it out of the bag. <laughs> so this is the front. I made this into a tag. Okay. Not much room for writing, but you can always put a piece of paper there and then and then journal on there. And I put another memory card in there. I'm thinking about making, first of all, I need to get it even here. Because there's a whole bunch of white showing at the bottom. And I just need to get that off because it's going to irk me. You know what I mean? It's just a little few things that I want to touch up on once we finish putting in the, the little pockets and stuff that we put in there. 
just went around these corners. Okay. So I rounded the corners only at the top of this tag. Okay. And I put some some hole reinforcers there and, and a piece of fabric there. That's a ribbon. Not sorry, so I don't. I don't have any. I wish I did, but I don't. So I have to work with what I got, <laughs> which is okay with me because I'm happy with the, all the stuff that I have. All right, so I put some more cards in here, just to put them in the book. You know, you know, just put them in the book, so they won't be in the bag, plastic bag. I think I put the pockets and stuff throughout the book here. So we got two more here. We have two more here, two more here, and two more here. And I think that's the last two. And then on the back here is our, our little tuck spot that we made there in the back. Okay, so when we turn it over to the pack, we made this flap here to hold a, a memory card or something to go in there. All right, so this is our first project here. I told you that I wanted to use that serial thing, that edging little spot there, you know, that I had on the top of my table here. And I said, we're going to use it. So this is, I covered it up, okay, and it's going to go here like so. And these are the little papers that we're going to put right here. No, they go on the other side. This is going to go here. Yes, this is going to go here. Hmm. Is that how I was going to have it? Yes, this was going to go here. And this was going to go here on this side. I don't think I want that because I'm going to have the journal insert right here, little papers here. So I don't think I'm going to want that. I think I put that there because I was thinking about putting brads here. And when the brads go through the other side, oh, wait a minute. When they go through the other side, which is going to be here. These are going to go here. This is going to go. This is this is what's going to go there. But I don't think I like that. So we're not even going to do that because this is the other side of the little pad, and I was going to put this there. So I'm not going to put it there. not going to happen. I could put it, I'll put it on my table because <laughs> oh, it's there and that's what's going to happen. But this is what's going here. Do I need to cut these papers down again? There's just, it's just three pieces of paper, um, coffee dyed paper. I feel like four. Well, okay. There's three pieces of paper. That's all it needs to be because it's just a little note, little things. Just a little note thing here. It's going to go here. And I wanted this to go right here. Right on top of that right there. So it's going to hold some. And the brads are going to go right there. So if I can find my brads. That would be perfect. Because uh, I had a little. Alright, so I got these right here. And then I had a small little packet. I had a small packet. Alright, here we 
we go. I had to get, get up and get it. All right. And I have those. I went to Michael's. When I went to Michael's, they were on sale, so I grabbed them. So, let's see. Do I want to go with color? Or do I want to do just the plain? I think I'm going to want some color. And that green, I don't know about the shiny. Let's see. Let's just see how it looks. Let's just see how it looks. Mm. Um, let's see how the red looks. <laughs> I'm just trying. Can't even get it in my hand. All right, we might be going with the red. Now, out of this one, these are the pastels ones, and I'm thinking about the pink right here because I think that green is too limey. So let's see what that pink looks like. Here's the pink. Wow. Gonna be the red. Okay. Let me get another one. I just need to. Okay. Now I need to punch a hole. Let's see here. Let me see if I can punch the hole. I'm going to get this centralized. I should have done this off camera, but I can't do everything off camera now, right? Right. I think that should be good. I think the small should do. I think the small will not work. Yeah, the small should do. Hmm. I moved it. All right, let's try this again. One more. Oh, and it moved. Just stay still. go through. That doesn't look bad. Right? Doesn't look bad. <laughs> Alright. Let's make our mark on the paper here.
I'm thinking, making sure this is going to be good right here. Yes. Pencil. We need a mark here. Okay, we need a hole here. Sure, I'm not going through any anything else here. Alrighty. Well, it's not nice. I can't even see the hole. <laughs> I can't even see the hole. Let's try it again. There we go. Now I should be able to see it. Did I get it? Yes! It's kind of hard to see pencil mark on this colorful paper here. Oh, I did pretty good. <laughs> right on the spots where I need it. Alright. Let's put this aside. Paper. Let's get this. Let's do the right side first. Sorry if I'm out of camera here. Just trying to get this. Trying to get this and not put my head in the camera. <laughs> you don't want to see my head. I didn't comb it. I haven't combed it. And I need to get it rebraided again, so it's a mess right now. Okay. We got it on there. We have our little pad. And I use my little cereal box there. Corner spot, you know, the side corners, flaps. I want to use that. Got that done. Let's see how it looks. When you open it up, there's my little writing space right there. I'm liking that. So and see what it looks like on the other side. You really can't see them. You really can't really. You can't really see them. I don't want to cover it up. You know, I was going to cover it up, but I think I'm not covering up. Just in case, you know, whoever gets this, if, if, if it's reasonable um, to sell, um, will be able to add more paper. So that was my plan. All right, so let's go to the next project. That was one of the projects that I wanted to do was put that little little pad in here. It looked like it's not straight, but it's okay. So now we're on the page where the little insert is going to go to, um, where the pages, were, um, the little insert was going to be here. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a cover. So, but I also wanted to do a little belly band. And my thought was to, I wanted to use this little four piece, little pictures here, but I wanted it to be like a, a little, a film or, you know, like camera film slots, you know, little square, square, square. So I made these little, I punched out these little holes here to go on top of this right here, to go like that. And that'll be my belly band, just right there like that. 
something different, you know, instead of just putting a piece of paper on there and calling it a yellow but belly band, you know. I wanted something different. I wanted this paper with the wording on the sides, you know, to be on top of here, like so. I just wanted something different. I could have cut the bottom, looks like. It's too long. Look like it's too long. Yep, I gotta cut some off. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix that bottom section there so we can glue the belly band on the page. You just gotta cut this bottom section off here. And it seems like it don't wanna go all the way through. Okay, that should do it. Now, I'm not sure if I just want to glue just the top and the bottom of this top portion. Because maybe, yeah, I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. I'm just going to glue the whole thing because I just remember these holes, these little holes there, they kind of... Well, you know, I could make them little you know, slots like this, you know, they want to put something there like that. I could do that. I think I will. I believe I will. All right, let me get the glue. And we can go from there. I hate when these pens get stuck on there and this, and my tip, the, the, the ball comes out and then I have to get another find another pen I mean I'd I be buying more of the pens than of the glue <sighs> alright so we're gonna glue this whole thing down let's put the glue on here real quick around the edges and then we're gonna put it like middle there, middle here, and middle there, like so. Put it on there right, Rebecca, because this glitter glue is not going to give you any time to breathe. I think I got it on here good. Am I too far away? Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay. We got a slot here. We got a blue there. So that should be like a little slot. Well, move along over here. Well, it was a plan. <laughs> it was a plan in my head. <laughs> All right, so this is where the belly band is going to go right here. Like so. So let's go ahead and put the glue at the top and at the bottom. Usually when I do these belly bands, I usually use the um, double-sided tape, but I'm not going to use it today. And hopefully this is straight. Okay. Alright, so that's project number two. Let's put this glue pen back in here. We don't want no problem with this glue. Okay, that is project number two done. Where we can put some more cards in. If I can find some. I need two. This takes take two. We can put one here. <laughs> I 
That's too much. I need a big one now. And there we go. There we have it. It's on the other side. Okay. Belly band in. Now we need to put in our little journal. And let's find the papers to cover it. I think I still want to cover it. So the paper, the page is kind of the peachy, peachy, peachy. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's not that thick like the other pages here. I could go with this black one. No, I don't want to go with that. We're going to go with this one right here. Because the inside is this right here. So let's cut this off. That's what's going to go cut off there. If I do it this way, but it be that going to look upside down? I wonder. Does it really matter? Let's see how much is going to show here. We got too much, too much wording. So we're just going to leave it on this side here. Get your trimmer out, Rebecca. Don't get lazy. I don't want to use this trimmer because I need to change the blade. The blade needs to be changed out. And it leaves the fridges. See? Those fridges? It leaves the fridges on the edge. And I don't... I didn't want that. I did not want that. Now I gotta take the time now to cut them off. Which is only gonna take me a couple of seconds, but I feel that I shouldn't have to do that with my blade if I have a, a trimmer, you know? And that's why I wanna get the Tim Holtz guillotine. Uh, I gotta save up for that. Fit pretty good, yeah. It looks okay. That 
should be all she wrote. Okay. So we are going to cut it right there. And we can use the remaining paper for pockets. cut too much off of that butterfly. Let's see how it looks in the book. Does it fit? It does fit, but kind of sticks out. Sticks out a little bit. I'm going to need to cut it down. That means I'm going to need to cut my paper down as well. Hmm. Didn't want to have to do that. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. I know you saw my head that time, right? Cut a quarter of an inch off, but why is this? Okay. And it fell on the floor. Great. That should do it. Okay. Let's put this on. Cut a quarter off. Oh, it's bad. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay, let's see how it looks now. That is so much better. Much better. It's not sticking out. It's in there. Okay, so what I was planning on doing... I was going to sew it in. <laughs> was is a big word. Because I put, the reason why I said I was going to sew it in because I had put the, the fabric on there. Right? Right. But now I think I'm not going to put the fabric on there. I think I'm going to um, mm, tie a ribbon. Or put some, no I can't put elastic on there. I'm going to tie a ribbon. I have some, nope, not long enough. <laughs> wow. I thought I had, I wanted to use pink, but I only have this out. I do have pink, but it's not long enough. It is not long enough. What is this? Nope, that's not long enough. I'm going through my scraps, because I have scraps over here. Let's check and see what's in here. Oh, that looks like a piece of ribbon with pink. Is it long enough, though? I have a bag within a bag within a bag. <laughs> Good. Good, Rebecca. Wait a minute, what is that? 
You think that's long enough? Is it too pink, pinky pink? If you want to call that pink. I think that one's a little bit too much. I don't think I have any more pink though. That's green. Oh, green would have been perfect. Wow. Green would be perfect if I had some more green. I have another bag. Hold on. What is this? Do I have green in here? It's, it's a piece of green. No, no, this is just my... right there. I don't have any more scraps. No, I can't even use that. All right, so let's see what this cream is going to look like since that is the longest piece that I have out. I could tie a piece of elastic, but like I did my other book, because I don't think I have any more ribbon. I'm looking for some ribbon. I'm looking for some ribbon. I'll be right back. I found that some jute twine. <laughs> I'm thinking that'd be better than this cream. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this jute. And let's go back to our page here and see here. I want to leave a little town because I think I want to put a little some kind of beads on there because I do have some beads or a charm or something probably a charm so we're going to cut it here all right gonna cut it I don't even know if this is gonna work because it is um, a folio if you don't get what I'm getting at to my drift here I gotta open this let's see if this is going to work And it doesn't want to stay in this spot. 
I just need you to stay in the middle. Okay? Stay in the middle. Okay, let's make a knot. Don't want to put it too tight in there. Rip it. And rip the paper. Okay, let's see how this does. So far, so good. And then we have this little tail here. We want to put some a charm here. We have that. So that is that this way. I wish it would have. I wish I had thinner. I could have sworn I thought I had thinner jute. Now, if I can find it, I'll replace it. But for right now, that's what we're going with. <laughs> that is what we're going with. If I can find the thinner jute, I will replace it. I think I found it. Is this the same? Is this the same or is this thinner? Yeah, that is it. Where am I at? I'm at 42 minutes. I think I have one other project for the back. Let's see here. We did this. We did the holder here. Page, the scrap paper, a little paper. All right, and we did our belly band, okay. We put in our insert here, booklet, okay. This is our pocket. This is a pocket, pocket. Now we're back to the front. I think we're done. I believe we're done. So let me just change this out because this... Um, This is a little too thick for me. So we're going to change this out. I'm going to get it the same length though. Because I like the length that it, that it is that hanging out. Alright, so put this jute to the scrap bin over here. Going to put this back. And we're going to put this in our booklet. Concentrating too hard with this milk, with this knot. Okay, let's check it out. And you can add and take out pages. That's what I'm liking. That's all right. We got it. Our booklet is done and it's in the folio. So 
So this is the front. I'm not sure if I want to put some flowers on here. I think about putting a flower on the edge over here. Do I want to use this sparkle one? I don't think I want to use the sparkle one. I think I'm going to use these right here. Alright, so we are already at 46 minutes. I'm going to just stop it right here. We're going to do part three. And we're going to just decorate the booklet, okay? So I'm thinking about putting, because it, it comes with a stencil that I just noticed. It does come with a stencil. So I'm thinking about putting a stencil right on this vellum <laughs> across here on the edge right here. I really do think I'm going to do that. So we're going to do this little stencil of this vellum over here on this place here with some with with mold. With some molding right there. Okay? And on also on that edging I want to put one of these flowers on that edging too and then put the mold right on top of it like that. So that's what I'm planning on. I would like to do on this page right here on the front. Um, then on on some of these plain ones here pages like right here we can put a flower one of these flowers these uh, bits piece, bits and pieces bits bits and bits whatever these called die cut infirmer bits and pieces so we can put something on these on these plain pages and then when we get to the back we definitely can do something especially here put another pocket maybe okay so that's what we plan on doing I'm definitely putting something on this page right here to cover that up all right crafters that is our plan for part three and then we can finish this folio up and if someone wants it just let me know and I will put it um, on my Etsy page and whoever wants it can can grab it up Okay, and I am planning on making at least two more or whatever. I'm, I'm into three, seven, and 12. Those are my numbers. So if I do make some more, it's going to be either two more or five more. Or, I mean, two more or six more. Okay, so whoever wants one will have be able to get one. Ooh, Ooh what is this? I didn't even see these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I might have to use those. I didn't even see those. <laughs> so this kit comes with so much stuff in here. You just really got to take your time and look through it. All right, crafters, that is it for today. Thank you for joining me in putting and doing this part two of this um, accordion folio. I know it's taken me um, a little longer than, than expected to put this together, but you know what? That's, that's the fun of it. You never know how it's going to work out. I mean, it's just, that's, the fun of crafting you never know how things are going to work and how they think things are going to come out and then you just you just keep going with it okay all right crafters thank you for joining me um oh i just want to say hello to my newbies um, i have some new subscribers um, i just want to say hello welcome to my channel and for my regulars i'm not forgetting you guys okay i thank you I'm thanking you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so grateful to have you here and to continue to come to my channel. Um, you know, I love you guys. And it's all about family and getting together and having fun. Okay? All right, Pete. All right. I'm going to stop right there because I can babble on all day. And I just, and the last thing I'm going to say is have a blessed day. Goodbye.